Missouri State Bears basketball comes to you today from JQH Arena in Springfield, Missouri. A big Missouri Valley Conference series starts today as the Missouri State Bears host the Bradley Braves. Hi, everybody. I'm Don West, along with the former Bear Great and Missouri Sports Hall of Famer Kelby Stuckey. Kelby, big matchup in the Valley this weekend. Well, the Bradley Braves, traditionally one of the better defensive teams, may have some, some personnel issues tonight at Missouri State, winner of of its last three over traditional Valley foes, Illinois State and South Southern Illinois, should have a good game today. Bradley at 11 and 11 overall, five and eight, their Valley record. Missouri State's coming in at 12 and five and eight and five in conference play. And big news coming in just a few minutes ago that Bradley will be without some players today. There will be some adjustments to both of these lineups for Bradley. Linky, McAdoo, Kent, Tabanainen, and Mast. And for Missouri State, Sharp, Black, Mosley, Herbie, and Prim. And Spencer Brown drawing a late start for Missouri State. Well, if you're the Bradley Braves, one of two things is going to happen. Either you're going to get blown out because you lack experience and your guys have never played before, or they will step up and not be afraid of the moment and play a very good basketball game. So, interesting to see what will happen. Tip-off brought to you by the Missouri State Bookstore. Shop at the bookstore on campus or online at MissouriStateBookstore.com for all your bearware needs. The officials are Winston Stiff, Roland Simmons, and Brad Gaston. So just about 20 minutes or so ago, it was announced to us that Bradley would be without three starters plus a top reserve, including Elijah Childs, the leading scorer and rebounder for the Braves. Not in action today, nor tomorrow. The shot clock runs out on the Bears. And right away, you see this Bradley Braves team, regardless of the personnel, they are traditionally one of the better defensive teams in the Valley, you see right there, defend the entire shot clock, force a turnover, good defense. In addition to Elijah Childs, Danier Kingsby is out, Terry Nolan also out, and Jashawn Henry, the top man off the bench. And Rick Mast gets the score for the Braves. A lot of freshmen in the lineup for the Braves, but what you see is athleticism and height, as well as length. All of the things you need to defend on the basketball floor. So that's about 40 points per game average that Bradley is missing now today and tomorrow. A carry, a palming call now on Missouri State. And it's due to violations of program standards. Suspended today and tomorrow's matchup here at JQH. So a different Bradley lineup that... Those of you watching in Peoria have not seen. And Rick Mast hits a three, and he has the game's first five points. Big time shot by the freshman. Six foot nine with the ability to bang inside on defense and the dexterity and touch to step outside and knock down three pointers. Now an offensive foul on Isaiah Mosley. The Bears' leading scorer and one of the most improved players in the country. Coming in at 21 points per game, first in the Valley, just under 21. And he's also top 10 in rebounding. And I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, one of two things will happen. Well, guess what? The latter of those things seems to be appearing at this point. Young players stepping up and making big plays, even though they may not have played a lot up until this point. Tough shot there is missed by Darius Hanna. So three freshman forwards are starting for the Braves, including redshirt freshman Rink Mast, 51, guarding the ball. Missouri State inserting Spencer Brown in the lineup today. And Jamonte Black not in the lineup. We're also seeing, I guess that's the only change with Brown out there. To the basket, the score for Kevin McAdoo. A lot will be on his shoulders today. Smart play by McAdoo, drawing a defender, knowing that he's got a role guy going to the basket with him. He makes the proper decision, finish at the rim. Bradley out to the 7-0 lead. Nearly three minutes in, and Isaiah Mosley gets Missouri State on the board. 
the current Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week and a three-time selection this year. A push goes to Spencer Brown from behind. Defending Vile Tavaninen, sophomore from Finland. Connor Linky now checks in for the Braves. Another freshman playing in his ninth game this season. And McAdoo will go to work for the Braves. It's the 65th all-time meeting between these two. Missouri State leads the series 39-25. to Bradley won two last year. 91-78 here and 83-79 in overtime at the Carver Arena. Long possession comes off to Missouri State. Sharp lost the ball. And McAdoo down floor to the basket. It stays out. Mast working in against Prim, and out it comes for a three. And that is off. Jason Kent taking that shot for the Braves. And we'll go Missouri State's way. And you got to like the hustle by the big fella, Mass. Takes it off the dribble in the open floor on the break. Makes a great pass to a wing guy and then follows that up with a great offensive rebound opportunity. Not to mention he scored the first five of the game. Great start for the freshman. Nick Tata checks in for the Bears, the 6'10", junior from Australia by way of Glenn College in Texas. Jamonte Black with the miss. Black off balance that time, forcing one against this Bradley pressure. And out to the arc again for Bradley. Instead, it's a two, and it goes for Jason Kent. He plays in his 18th game today, so all but five. Averages 2.4 points per game, and some of these guys that you're not as familiar with for Bradley are going to have to pick up a lot of slack today. We'll get an early timeout here. Four and a half minutes in, and Bradley out to a 9-2 to lead over Missouri State. All Ivy, player of the year, first round draft pick. No matter my achievement, I question if I deserve it. It's a battle with an invisible opponent, imposter syndrome. But I found a way to conquer it. I watch film, not of my mistakes, but of what I'm doing right. Each clip reminding me that there's no imposter here. Train what's under the armor. Good at low prices. Yeah. Back later. That's a low price. Can you put it? No, no, low price. Dog Low price. That's a low price. Oh, God. Stucky at JQH Arena, Springfield, Missouri. Very cold outside, about 17 degrees here late afternoon. Big snowstorm expected Sunday night into Monday here in southwest Missouri. And maybe the most snow we've had around here in six years or so. But the Braves are here for this game and one tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. This revamped Valley schedule this year. Very limited fans and masking in the stands today. Missouri State looks to build a little momentum after a slow start. They'll look to Mosley. And off to the arc. 
Bradley defending really hard. Gage Prim, strong and in. And the foul. And Missouri State breaking that pressure with the logical move inside to Gage Prim. Force Bradley to defend your best inside score, which will help break that pressure on the perimeter. Antonio Thomas checks in, a sophomore from Memphis. At guard for the Braves. Gage Prim this past week announcing that he will indeed take advantage of the extra season he's been afforded and he will come back next year for Missouri State. Good news for the Bears. This will go to Missouri State as the Bears look for momentum. Dana Ford over there right in the middle of things for the Bears. In his third season, a record of 44 and 38. Got his 100th overall win, counting his tenure at Tennessee State. Two games back in the Missouri State win at Illinois State is alma mater. Black three is down. Great play inside out by Missouri State. You get that inside bucket, you establish Gage Prem. Once you can draw that pressure inside, outside to an open shooter, great play from Missouri State. 5-0 for the Bears since the timeout, and they'll say Bradley's ball out of this. this Braves team has won two of its last three. They won at Valparaiso on Wednesday, 76-52 and split two with Southern Illinois in Peoria. Missouri State has to speed up this young Bradley team. A lot of young guys on this team not used to being in this situation. You can't allow them to play, play careful and not play with pressure. Inside, won't go for Keaton Hervey. Great cut, great pass from Gage Graham. Hervey unable to finish. Kirby had a breakout game with a career best against SIU on Wednesday here at the Q. Now to Prim underneath from Mosley. Great pass. And the Bears catch the Braves, and it's 9-9. Rick Mask spins one out. Missouri State on a full-fledged run here now after falling behind 9-2. Prim, and they look for sharp cutting. Hervey recovers, and the drive goes in. Great shot fake from Hervey. Show him the basketball. Move his momentum to one direction. You go the other. Textbook. Perimeter fake and drive from Hurley. 9-0 now for Missouri State to take the first lead of the game. And here's Prim with the steal. And Gage Prim getting his 21st steal of the year. He's the Bears leader in both steals and blocks. 20 of each coming into this game. They look to Prim outside the block. Working on Mast. Good coverage in there by Rink Mast and the shot clock at two. Sharp gets capped two-handed style by Darius Hanna. And what a block by Hanna. Strong drive by Sharp, but a better defensive play from Hanna. The Braves will take the arrow. Sean East checks in for Bradley. The sophomore guard from Louisville, he wears number five in the red. And Jared gotta, Renner checks in for the Bears. And you got to love this response from Missouri State. Kind of got off to a slow start. The freshman started strong, started with some confidence. Missouri State brought some pressure to their defense and started to get the ball inside to Gage Prem to break that perimeter pressure from Bradley. Nice response by Missouri State. Brian Wardle directing the attack from the Bradley bench in his sixth season. A 92 and 97 record, and now an offensive foul on the Braves end. This goes to Jason Kent for his first. Jason Kent. Kent, a good looking freshman guard, shooting has shown the ability to put it on the floor as well as shoot from distance. 
Not a bad defender to boot. Lakai Patterson in for Missouri State. Another freshman. And Prem off the glass. Big time. Big time in the post from Gaines Prem. 11 straight scored by the Bears. Nice pass. And blocked from behind by Mosley. Now the scramble is on. Missouri State away with the ball. Mosley with the look. Black with the three. The timeout called by Brian Wardle. Missouri State has arrived after getting here a little bit late, but the Bears lead it 16 to 9. Now on a 14-0 run at the queue. We need USAA insurance for this season. When being a fan on the budget gets tough, our agents do the legwork so saving on auto insurance is easy. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Introducing new Extra Charge Coffee at Duncan because it's time for a little extra this year. Extra boost, extra kick, so we're extra good to go. New hot and iced Extra Charge Coffee with 20% more caffeine. Order ahead plus earn rewards. America runs on Duncan. Excuse me, excuse me. What year is it, please? It's a 79 at Run for the line! Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just remembered. Pompeii was destroyed in 79 AD, by the way. What was the volcano called? Volcano. <laughs> Alexa, what volcano destroyed Pompeii? Mount Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius. For real. Let's go, Peloton! Welcome to your 30-minute full body strength. Yes, you can, Peloton. Come on. Way to show up, Peloton. Amazing work. You absolutely crushed it. Bears basketball on the Missouri State Television Network is brought to you by Taco Bell. Your Midwest Ford dealers. And by Price Cutter. Bears lead at 16 to 9 over Bradley here in the middle part of the first half. Don West back with Kelby Stuckey and a resurgence there for the Bears in that last segment. Well, you see, you saw Missouri State start to put some things together, some pressure on on their defensive end, able to force the younger players, speed them up a little bit, make them make some mistakes, and on this end, going to Gage Prem inside, getting that ball inside and breaking that good Bradley pressure. They've been able to break that team down and then hit the pass the ball inside out to the perimeter shooters. Black with a couple big threes, good defense from Mosley, and a great pass after the penetration. Bradley had been on a skid since recovering the win two of their last three. Before these last two victories, they hadn't won since January 17th against Evansville. But with these four key players out and also still missing the seven foot one Ari Boya with a foot injury. It's a group of Bradley players. Kelby, as you said earlier, they've got nothing to lose tonight. They're yeah. out there putting it all out. Young kids that, that don't really expect to play when you've got veterans like Elijah Childs. Those guys are not available tonight, so those young guys get a chance to show what they can do. No one's expecting them to do a whole lot. So when you're in that situation, you just go play your best and see what happens. So far, they've done a pretty decent job. Still in a drought as the three won't go for Mask. The Kai Patterson got that last Bears foul. And Black's three is down his third of the half. Black's got it locked on automatic here early for Missouri State. 17-0 now, the run for the Bears. And then McAdoo with the kick out, and the two is good. Antonio Thomas gets his first points. It's 
So that run extended to 17 straight points for Missouri State. Now down low to Patterson. Great cut from Patterson off the weak side. You've got a great passer like Prem. It's in your best interest to be a good cutter. Travel will give it back to Missouri State with DeMarcus Sharp reporting back in and Jason Kent returns for Bradley. A lot to cover tonight in terms of things that have been going on in the Missouri Valley Conference. The NCAA setting that deadline this week of February 26th for teams that want to either declare their regular season or tournament champion their automatic bid to the NCAA. We're told here from the Missouri State Brain Trust and Rick Kindhart that Arch Madness will go on and it really will have no effect on the Missouri State plans. The three stays out for Tabanina. He'll follow and go to the line. Demarcus Sharp gets the Bears foul his first. And if you're Coach Ford, you're not happy with that play. You're giving up a jump shot, a permanent shot to a shooter, and you don't block him out and let him get his own rebound. It's a one violation for most coaches. Vile Tavanainen, a sophomore from Finland, was a member of the Valley All-Bench team last year. He averages 8.6. He's at 41 threes and rarely misses a free throw. Now 16 of 18 for the season. Sure enough. And the touch will go to Missouri State. Yep. Got pretty good size. Showing the ability to play an athletic game on the floor. Inside, and a step called on Hervey. One dribble too many for Hervey. Keaton Hervey out of New Mexico Junior College. Getting better and better defensively as well. He threw two charges in the first Illinois State game. Now foul against Kirby. Team foul number five on Missouri State. Bradley with Tavaninen to bring it in. And a little shake to the backboard, but McAdoo gets it down. McAdoo with the change of speed that time. He's got a taller guy on him, and Hervey slows down just enough to, to get a burst on Hervey and get to the run. So Bradley within seven now. And Black with contact and count it. Javante Black with big numbers coming in. And he'll go to the line. Jason Kent gets his second. So Bradley has eight scholarship players available today, plus a couple of walk-ons. It is black for one. From Columbia Rockbridge, like his running mate, Isaiah Mosley. And they have lit a spark under this program now in their sophomore years. Yes, they have. Bradley will look, Tom and Einan flashed underneath, they couldn't find him. And the ball stripped away from McAdoo. Brad Gaston will come in and say that is Bradley's ball out of this. And Mast works against Ritter now. Ritter with the switch and covering out front. And that is a two that's in for Sean East. Lefty shooter East off the bounce and pull up. Well done. They got some lefties. Linky is a lefty and Hannah is a lefty. Jared Ritter finds the sideline there out of bounds.
Ritter could probably make it from the trunk. <laughs> Under eight here in the first half. And this one is down. Tabanainen's first steal goal give him three in the game. He led the Braves at Valparaiso on Wednesday with 14. Now it's Ritter. Stayed in bounds that time. It's 39th three of the season. I like this kid Tabanainen for Bradley. Has, has a good feel for the game, and he plays really hard, looks for his shot, helps you out on the board, he's physical. Eight to shoot for the Braves. And the miss, sharp up floor. Bradley made 17 threes here at the Q last year. The most they had ever made in a Valley game. So far, one in this one. Ritter spins one out. And an open look at three is passed up by Hannah, but not by McAdoo. Kevin McAdoo, two years at Eastern Michigan, played in 59 games there. Just coming back after taking a leave of absence and missing 10 games. Personal issues, family matters for McAdoo. Jamonte Black with his fourth three of the half. Jamonte Black playing outstanding basketball for Missouri State. Not only a big time shooter, but a big time leader. Ian Mosley, as you alluded to earlier, have really made a big difference in this Bears basketball team from last year to this year, where they were freshmen and now they're sophomores. The biggest thing being not their play, their leadership. Their leadership has done wonders for this Missouri State team. This stays with Bradley. We're at the under eight now at 550 to go in the half, and Missouri State up 30 to 18 over the Bradley Braves. The SEC taught us to pull for our teams with everything we've got. And to pull together even after the game doesn't go our way. That a house divided actually can, I don't understand, will be filled with love and respect. As the official bank of the SEC, we're reminded that we're always better together. Because the SEC taught us how to face a challenge, even this season. With Infinity Now, your test drive comes to you. So you can try one car one day. And another the next. Because when you find the kind of luxury that fits you, you'll know. Experience luxury on your terms when you purchase or lease a new Infinity online with Infinity Now. Lease the 2021 Infinity QX50 for $379 a month at your local Infinity retailer. You want must see TV? Look no further. Conference basketball today here at JQH Arena, Springfield, Missouri. Missouri State in its last game on Wednesday against Southern Illinois, getting its 1700th all time win. They shot 49% in that game when they shoot 50%. As a team, they are 23-0 under Dana Ford. Including 8-0 this year. 49 was close enough, I guess. Bears beat the Saluki 65-53 on Wednesday. Well, anytime you can play and share the basketball and play really good, unselfish basketball, good movement, 
we're going to get good results, and that's what Missouri State has done all year. Offensively, they played really well. Haven't always defended as well as you, they may have wanted to, but uh, there's no doubt about this team being a talented offensive team that does a great job of running its stuff and sharing the basketball. A Bradley team that won the Valley Tournament two years ago. It was their first title in 31 years. They came from 18 down to beat Northern Iowa. Nice cut underneath. And the score for Tavaninen. Tavaninen, there's that guy playing without the basketball. Great cut, great pass, great finish at the rim. And last year, the Braves repeated as Valley champions. Beating Valparaiso in the championship, and Jared Ritter lights another one up, his second three, and his 40th of the year. And I don't think there's anything greater than a catch and shoot jump shot from Jared Ritter. It's just, it's textbook, great balance, great release, great time. Grimm goes up big for the rebound. win for Bradley last year in the conference tournament final over Valparaiso. Get a reach foul on Hunter Linky here, and that's going to be his third. Last year it was the first time for Bradley to qualify for the NCAA in back-to-back -back years since 1954 and 55, and of course they didn't really get to play last year's NCAA tournament. Linky to the bench with three fouls to further deplete the Bradley Chargers. Out to the arc and Demarcus Sharp looks into Prim. Great pass. Great inside outside basketball by Missouri State. Three times into the post, three times out, and then penetration back to the post. For the Bears get the margin back to 15, approaching the four minute mark here in the first half. McAdoo, covered by Sharp and inside, straight up defense. And it is out of bounds to Missouri State. With timeout at 357. During the first half, Missouri State a 15 point lead over Bradley. This is how you become the best.
force his will against a strong perimeter defense from Missouri State. Instead of kind of letting the game come to him, using his bulk up basketball to uh, create some opportunities for himself. I'm sure the coach is going to have a conversation with him about that. So you're going to see big time recruitment from junior colleges as a result of this. Here's Rink Mass getting tangled up with Gage Prim for the first foul on Mass. It's going to be in the 1-1 now for Missouri State with 2.31 to go in the half. Rick Mask came out and scored the first five points of the game, but none since. It will be Gage Prim shooting. Over 1,000 career points now for Prim, combining his time at West Texas A&M, which is Division II. And Prim now with 11 points. Prim had seven blocks at Northern Iowa in one of their games there. Tied a school record held jointly by Ricky Johnson from 1983 and Scott Hawk from 1987. And Prim now has passed Hawk from 1977 for Hawk. Prim has passed Hawk on the Bears' career scoring list. He's into the top 90 now. And he'll get an extra year to continue to add on to that team. 2 11 before the half. And a pull up. Ritter gets a hand up there, but it goes in anyway for McAdoo. Well, that was Thomas rather than McAdoo there. Thomas is supposed to have a, make a decent uh, contribution for this Bradley Bridge team. A couple of baskets has done a good job of handling the basket. Move it back out to Mosley. Just two points and a half for Mosley. He'll find Ritter at the shot clock buzzer, and it won't go. Good pass. Ritter blocks it from behind. And we wind to the final minute. Prim takes charge in the lane. And the first half timeout for Dana Ford. 14 and a half now for Prem to go with 15 for Jamonte Black. Gage Prem over the top. Not words that I thought I'd hear myself say. <laughs> uh, Gage Prem over the top for two. He was held to two and four points in the two games against Loyola. Came back strong and has 14 in the first half here. Valley's leading rebounder, just under nine a game. So the senior from Aurora, Colorado, Gage Prim, going to work in the lane. Rain, rain, go away. Come back again. Another day. Gage Prim takes it strong and finishes over the top of the big fellow for two. Here in the Ozarks, they're going to be saying snow go away here in about two days, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> Thomas there with a miss. Doing all he can. Now it's Ritter again for three. Got it. Ritter's third, and the Bears' seventh three of the first half. They designed from Missouri State that time. Two for one shot clock situation. And your best guy off the of delayed screen action. Catch and shoot, Jared Ritter. He's able to knock it in from Missouri State. Marcus Sharp gets his second foul. Sean East at the line. 
out of Louisville, transferred from UMass, and was immediately eligible. Great passer in his own right, had eight assists in their season opening win over Toledo. Two throws for East. Now 30 seconds for Missouri State. Game clock, shot clock, very close. Monte Black won't be in a hurry here. Uh, keep the eye on the red number on the shot clock. Mosley with four to shoot. And Brown gets loose. And Winston Stiff will call it too late from the other side. So 1.7 seconds now for Bradley. Good job by Bradley taking away the primary shooters from Missouri State. Brown not able to get it off the so ground. Half court finds the front rim for Common Island, but the Bears lead it by 20 at halftime. After Bradley jumped out to a 9 to 2 lead at the start, the Bears awoke from hibernation, and Missouri State leads it big time 44 24 at halftime. Don't get mad, get each aid and take charge of your finances today. Mornings were made for better things than rheumatoid arthritis. When considering another treatment, ask about Zeljans, a pill for adults with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis when methotrexate has not helped enough. Zeljans can help relieve joint pain and swelling, stiffness, and help stop further joint damage, even without methotrexate. Zeljans can lower your ability to fight infections. Before and during treatment, your doctor should check for infections like TB and do blood tests. Tell your doctor if you've had hepatitis B or C, have flu-like symptoms or are prone to infections, serious, sometimes fatal infections, cancers, including lymphoma, and blood clots have happened. Taking a higher than recommended dose of Zeljans for RA may increase risk of death. Tears in the stomach or intestines and serious allergic reactions have happened. Don't let another morning go by without asking your doctor about the pill first prescribed for RA more than seven years ago. Zeljans. Just because a car looks like a good deal online doesn't always mean it is. That's why CarGurus looks deeper. Every detail goes into our ratings and cars are rated from overpriced to great. And to be great on CarGurus, you really have to earn it. Only three of 10 cars have what it takes to be rated good deal or higher. So you'll no longer wonder if that car you like is a good deal, because it truly is. Go to CarGurus today and shop safely with CarGurus contactless services. On March 5th. How did this world get so broken? I believe that we can be unified again, but someone has to take the first step. All right, Tuk Tuk. Let's go! From the studio that brought you Frozen. Hold on. <laughs> oh, we were doing a jumpy thing. Oh, so sorry, my bad. Raya and the Last Dragon. Rated PG in theaters or order it on Disney Plus with premiere access March 5th. You see this? 17 of 23. Yeah. Don West back with Kelby Stuckey halftime at JQH in Missouri State with a 20-point lead. This is the Great Southern Bank halftime report. Great Southern understanding what really matters, member FDIC. Well, Bradley jumped out to the 9-2 lead behind Rick Mast early on, but the Bears... From that point, went on a 17 to nothing run. Missouri State has led ever since by around a 10 to 15 point margin, but they extend it, Kelby, to 20 here at halftime. Well, you've seen 
this Missouri State team kind of transform. Missouri State trying to tra kind of transform from a slow start uh, to get engaged Prim involved here early on. Picking the ball up the floor. Some of your first half highlights with Kevin McAdoo scoring four points for Bradley. And Jason Kent with his only two of the half for the Braves. The look down low to Gage Prim as he finishes with 14 in the first half, mostly close to the basket. And this one goes for Keaton Hervey for his only two after the big game on Wednesday against SIU. And two more there for Prim and the Bears as Missouri State leads it 44 to 24. A little more into some of the stats when we come back after this timeout. It's Missouri State Bears basketball on the Missouri State Television Network. Don't get mad, get each aid and take charge of your finances today. All Ivy, player of the year, first round draft pick. No matter my achievement, I question if I deserve it. It's a battle with an invisible opponent imposter syndrome, but I found a way to conquer it. I watch film, not of my mistakes, but of what I'm doing right. Each clip reminding me that there's no imposter here. Train what's under the armor. Hello. Hey dad, Bobby's wondering if you could watch cartoons with him. Yeah, it sounds nice. I hope we can soon. Dad, check your email. <laughs> okay, click. What is this? It's Sling Watch Party. You can invite people to watch live TV with you. Wow. Hey, family. Oh, God! How'd you get in there, Todd? Sling Watch Party is live TV together from anywhere, only from Sling. Get the best of cable for the best price. Just because a car looks like a good deal online doesn't always mean it is. That's why CarGurus looks deeper. Every detail goes into our ratings, and cars are rated from overpriced to great. And to be great on CarGurus, you really have to earn it. Only three of 10 cars have what it takes to be rated good deal or higher. So you'll no longer wonder if that car you like is a good deal, because it truly is. Go to CarGurus today and shop safely with CarGurus contactless services. Ball in, put on a budget. The new $1 Your Way menu at Burger King will help you stack that bread, spend less bacon. So try a flame grilled bacon cheeseburger, chicken junior, fries, or a drink for just a dollar each. So save that bacon and get it on your burger instead, because getting more for your buck at BK just hits different. The new $1 Your Way menu, now at Burger King. Your way, way better. This is the best of the best. This game tonight at the Q, uh, honoring Coach Dana Ford and his wife Christina's local charity, the Rebound Foundation, which has to do with uh, protecting women from domestic violence and uh, all that is surrounded by, by that problem. There is a uh, plan in place tonight where fans can make pledges per rebound that is uh, made in this game and the proceeds go to the Rebound Foundation. You can go online to thereboundfoundation.org for information about that great charity. Again, Dana and Christina Ford and doing their part in keeping uh, the world free of domestic violence. Well, let's have a look at some of the first half stats and Missouri State just absolutely lit it up in the first half. 74% from the field 17 of 23 shooting, including 7 out of 10 from the three-point arc. Meanwhile, Bradley goes 1 of 8 from 3 and 10 of 28 from the field. Well, basically two different uh, 
teams appeared early on. The Bradley Braves played great defense, got out to a big lead, and then Missouri State just turned the tide or turned on the switch and ended up shooting 74% from the uh, uh, field for the first half. And uh, that's just outstanding basketball by Missouri State. And then I think we kind of saw the inexperience of the Braves after the hot start. Rebounding led by Missouri State 14 to 12 in the game as well. Missouri State uh, oddly had no offensive rebounds and Bradley had five of their 12 on the offensive end. But the Bears are winning uh, just about every statistical category after that slow start. Yeah, that was a cause for concern for Dana, but a nice recovery by the team. Well, you kind of knew, uh, like we said early on, one of two things would happen. The young guys who never played before would just step up and have amazing games. And it seemed like that was going to happen at first. But then you saw the uh, uh, veteran savvy and, and the experience of Missouri Steve kind of take over. Bradley had good pressure on the defensive end. Missouri State able to go inside out and start to break that pressure, and then you kind of saw the uh, whole thing break down for the Braves. Bradley has won three in a row in the, the series over Missouri State going back to 2019. They have never won four straight over the Missouri State program, and they've got a tough hill to climb here with the Bears leading by 20 as we head for the second half when we come back on the Missouri State Television Network. Don't get mad, get E-Trade, and take charge of your finances today. She has it. Him too. Car buying confidence. And they found it on CarGurus. With CarGurus Finance in Advance, you can find a great deal on the car you love and get a personalized financing offer to see your real monthly payment. It only takes minutes, and there's no impact on your credit score. CarGurus puts all the important information in the palm of your hand. So when it comes time to buy, you'll be more than ready. Find your car and your financing at CarGurus today. We know you've got your hands full at home. I'm building a spaceship. So Instacart is here to help make grocery shopping a little easier. Choose which store to shop from, what items you need, and how you want them. And a shopper will safely deliver them contact-free in as fast as two hours. Because between teaching, cooking, and parenting, you could use one less job to do. Go to instacart.com or download the app to get free delivery on your first order using the code order today. Stay with me, Peloton. You got it. Come on. Experience total body training. Let's go. With the Peloton Tread Plus. Go the distance in any weather. Go. Push. Push. With engaging runs on our softest road. 20 seconds. This winter, your hardest workouts are right at home. Remember, stabilize. Good. Transform your training with the Peloton Tread Plus. Nice job. Have you or a loved one been wronged by pre-made breakfast? Well, Wendy's has your back, dropping the hammer with two of these made-to-order breakfast sandwiches for just $4. Get the breakfast you deserve now, too, for $4. Only at Wendy's. Heaven Valley Ranch seasoning. Ready. Nice job, Dad. Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. You either love it or you really love it. An all Mexico showdown. You can win, but you just can't. Hide. Miguel Burchell. He's the devil, but he's in the sky. Oscar Valdez. This is about fun. This is about passion. <laughs> Bears basketball on the Missouri State Television Network is brought to you by Taco Bell, your Midwest Ford dealers, and by Price Cutter.
Nearly uh, ready for second half play here at JQH Arena, Springfield, Missouri. Don West along with Kelby Stuckey. Finally, we get some basketball on the Missouri State Television Network, KOZL locally, WMBD in Peoria, and on ESPN+. Plus. Sunday's game will be ESPN Plus only at 3 o'clock Central Time between these two teams. Stuck, it's been a long time coming that we finally get uh, back with some Bears basketball locally. Yeah, uh, really missed it because of these uh, COVID circumstances, not able to come together regularly, not able to view basketball in the uh, normal format and in the normal way. Uh, just looking forward to things returning back to the way they used to be. We'll Hopefully. get there. We'll get there. Wear your mask. Get your vaccination. Yeah, yeah. Basketball in its purest form. Fans being involved, enjoying the game. Players playing for the fans and for the fans enjoying them. So, so it's a wonderful thing. Just really glad to have been a part of it for the last 30 years of my own life. No. Well, I'm being honest. With, I'm being generous with 30 years. It's, it's more like... <laughs> oh, yeah, you're counting them up there now, aren't you? You and I are the same age. Yeah, it's, it's more years than I really want to admit now. I watched you play <laughs> when I was a student here. Late 1980s and the explosion of success under Charlie Spoonhour, the Bears coaching legend. So Bradley 20 down as they begin with the ball in the second half. Bear foul to Keaton Hervey. Kind of quiet in the first half. Hervey with two points and Isaiah Mosley just two points. And there's Spencer Brown getting his second foul. Hmm. Yeah, that's just nice. Uh, Spencer Brown. Don't want to put these young guys in the county road. Two fouls in 11 seconds. Now, offensive this time on Bradley as Brown goes down. Kavanainen gets his first. Let me check at the scores table. Looks like we're ready. I like this kid, Kavanainen, as a player. Very active and strong. He plays really hard in his basketball. Hop into the lane and it's a travel on Mosley. Big news in the Missouri Valley Conference today. Loyola and Drake is a weekend matchup in Des Moines. Loyola won big today, 81-54 over Drake in a matchup of the top two teams, but Drake is now without its leading scorer, Shane Quan Hemphill, who is out with a foot injury for what's expected to be four weeks or so. Bears get it ahead to Prim and slams it to save the possession, and they rush to him to help him up. Very odd play right there from Gage Prim running the floor. He seemed like he stumbled when he caught it. Or either caught it while he was off balance. So Drake suffered just its second loss of the season. Remember, they were nationally ranked, and now Loyola is ranked. And the Ramblers are 18 and three, and they improved to 13 and one in the conference today with that win. And now a Palman call will get the ball back to Bradley. I think you've got to be pretty careful here at the Missouri State. Allowing these young guys to continue to find some offense, find some confidence. Could find yourself in the game a little later on. In the low pops of the contest. Left hand flip for Darius Hanna, and he's on the scoreboard. And a nice play that time from Hanna. Trying to do a lot on the perimeter, an inside outside kind of guy, but that time using his size and his length down in the low post. Nice little shoulder shake to a nice jump hook with some protection. Mosley looking for a shot here, and he'll find one one way or the other. This one won't go. Yeah. 
And it's Tava Nainen. A little deep on that one, Prim. Got rid of the ball before he completed his fall there. Mask sticking fairly close to him, and it's Demarcus Sharp for three for his first points of the game. Man, he's capable. He had 21 in the second Loyola game for the Bears. Yeah, he's shown the ability to shoot perimeter shots. You know that he's a very, very capable floor general guy right now. On the break, head up, finds the right guy, uh, but he can't knock down shots. It's a ground with a miss. Spin and the flip by McAdoo. And followed by Darius Hanna. And a dangerous guy for Missouri State is Hanna. At six foot nine, with great length and a nice left-handed touch. Really struggled in the first half, but now starting to show some signs of life. Uh, some signs of being able to uh, contribute in this game. And that could be a problem if he starts to play really well here as a good continues. And four freshmen on the Bradley roster, and three of them started this game. Kevin McAdoo gets his first foul. Darius Hanna was on Sports Center Top 10 in November with a dunk over an Oakland player. He's got holy moly. Once he starts to figure some things out. And, and you can, Coach Waddle has, it, it, it seems like he's just reloaded this team. He traditionally has good talent, but he's got great length and exceptional uh, talent in his young guys on his team. You, you're going to hear from this team uh, in the next three or four years, as usual, as part of the normal. Bradley's going to be a team you're going to have to deal with. With good talent. Patterson, the running miss. That Loyola Drake matchup tomorrow at 2 o'clock will be on ESPN2. Push from behind and count it. Jamonte Black gets the foul. And one free throw coming. And that guy takes nine and again. Get a timeout, 15.48 to go. And Missouri State up 47 to 30. Demarcus Sharp. Lighting it up for his first point to the night. The financial report is due Monday. So we need to speed up the process and get those numbers in. Renovate or relocate? Relocate. The perfect home needs the perfect mortgage. It's perfect. Regions Digital Lending Experience is safe and simple, so you can brave a new beginning. Our world is divided, and to fix it, I must find the last dragon. Don't self, don't die. From the studio that brought you Frozen. Hold on! My girl Ryan and I are going to fix the world. I wish to join this fellowship of butt kickery. Bring on the heat! Ryder and the Last Dragon. Rated PG in theaters or order it on Disney Plus with Premier Access March 5th. Ball in, put on a budget. 
The new $1 Your Way menu at Burger King will help you stack that bread, spend less bacon. So try a flame grilled bacon cheeseburger, chicken junior, fries, or a drink for just a dollar each. So save that bacon and get it on your burger instead because getting more for your buck at BK just hits different. The new $1 Your Way menu now at Burger King. Your way, way better. And on that note, tonight's fan of the game is brought to you by Taco Bells. Tacos, burritos, quesadillas, nachos, and tasty drinks. Served up anytime from breakfast to late night. Taco Bell, a proud sponsor of the Missouri State Bears. They can both be fans of the game. Great to have them at JQH tonight. Missouri State up 47 to 30. And Vile Tabanainen to the free throw line out of this timeout. And I can't stop talking about this kid, Tabanainen. He's a, he does such a great job playing without the basketball. And a lot of, it's not something that you'll see just in the casual observation of the game. But you, if you watch him very closely, he moves strong. He cuts hard every cut. Uh, he, he makes the right play with the basketball. He makes the right cut. And not only as a benefit for himself, but also for this Bradley team and his teammates. A, a great example of how you're supposed to play without the basketball. Third lead was 20 at the half. at 16 now. And Isaiah Mosley. They'll kick out to Herbie for three. Patterson tracks it down, and he releases in time, but doesn't hit the rim. A good defensive sequence by the Bradley Braves. So that Loyola Drake matchup Sunday at 2 on ESPN2. But Drake is now without... San Juan Hemphill, their leading scorer for at least four weeks. And a score. Don East now with six. So Loyola is clearly the front runner now in the valley. The Ramblers have just the one conference loss. They've already beaten Missouri State twice here. Three solid wins both. And Javante Black hits three-pointer number five. Black continuing to just light it up from the perimeter. Anytime the Bears are in a tough situation, the ball finds him and he makes a good shot. And Ritter gets there, but it's Darius Hanna that stays with it and gets the score. We've seen a nice response in the second half from Hanna after struggling mightily in the first half. Staying with it and continuing to play and make plays for his team. Ritter's three will go. Hands another one. He's got eight points in less than seven minutes here in the second half. Big kid can play, no doubt about it. Great touch. Great job on the boards. And, and he's showing some stay to itness, so to speak. He, he's staying with it. He struggled early, struggled in the first half, but uh, didn't let that affect his entire game. Here in the second half, he's giving his team a shot. He's showing some life. And I think it's going to help this team going down the stretch. Foul to Antonio Thomas. Javante Black has made as many as seven threes in a game. That was against Little Rock here in December. He scored 26, a career best in that game. Tonight he has 18. Sharp, why not? Wide open three, and down it goes. Bears have come up with some answers to some Bradley baskets here from Hannah and Common Iden. Bob for Connor Linky, and it's by him. H. Prim with the fadeaway. 
a whole lot you can do about that. Gage Prim with the Dirk Nowinski step back fadeaway. <laughs> Well, the Missouri State Lady Bears were down for a lot of the game against Illinois State, and Bryce Caleb hits a buzzer-beating layup for the Lady Bears to win 73-72. Incredible season for Coach Shamaka Ogukwa Hamilton and the Missouri State Lady Bears, and there is Isaiah Mosley with his second bucket of the night. Nice find from Sharp, nice tip. Time out for Brian Wardle. The 11.55 to go here at JQH. Missouri State's lead built back to 20 over Bradley. Research shows that people remember commercials with exciting stunts. So to help you remember that Liberty Mutual customizes your home insurance, here's something you shouldn't try at home. Look, Liberty Mutual customizes home insurance, so we only pay for what we need. It's pretty cool. That is cool. Grandma! Very cool. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. Sounds nice. I hope we can soon. Dad, check your email. <laughs> okay, click. Hi, Grandpa! What is this? It's Sling Watch Party. You can invite people to watch live TV with you. Wow. Hey, family. Oh, go! How'd you get in there, Todd? Sling Watch Party is live TV together from anywhere, only from Sling. Get the best of cable for the best price. An all-Mexico showdown. Miguel Burchell, Oscar Valdez. This is about fart. This is about passion. You want to see TV? Look no further. Fun time tonight at JQH Arena for the Missouri State Bears fans. Some not as active as others in the stands. The word I'd use is animated. <laughs> Some good looking dogs and kids there taking it all in at JQH. So the Missouri State Lady Bears win at Illinois State. They're getting used to some. Last second heroics. Last year here, Sydney Manning against Drake. Jasmine Franklin at Loyola at the buzzer. And tonight, it is Bryce Caleb at the buzzer with a layup to win at Illinois State. Blacks three. Not this time. And 100 miles an hour, the drive by McAdoo. He gets fouled before the shot goes up. Marcus Sharp gets his third, and we'll get the under 12 now. 57-37 our score. Missouri State with the lead over Bradley. It's Missouri State Bears basketball from Learfield IMG College. Whoa, Susan. Oh, I'm looking for coupon codes. Well, Capital One Shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them. Save me some cheddar. Capital One Shopping. It's kind of genius. What's in your wallet? On March 5th. How did this world get so broken? I believe that we can be unified again, but someone has to take the first step. All right, Tuk Tuk. Let's roll! From the studio that brought you Frozen. Hold on. Oh, we were doing a jumpy thing. Oh, so sorry, my bad. 
Raya and the Last Dragon. Rated PG in theaters or order it on Disney Plus with Premier Access March 5th. I'm supposed to tell you what's in my $5 build your own cravings box. But you already know what you want from Taco Bell. You always have. So don't eat like me. Eat like you. It's the $5 build your own cravings box. Only online or with the Taco Bell app. I just want clear skin. Tried so-called super creams. I even tried half my kitchen on my face. And did any of that work? Nope. Then I found Proactive.com. They have three different systems with clinically proven ingredients and tested by dermatologists that got my skin clear and their skin too. They have a simple three-step system designed for you. Subscribe today, risk-free at Proactive.com and get this free charcoal brush. Subscribe today for less than a dollar a day, risk-free at Proactive.com. This is about art. This is about passion. You want must see TV? Look no further. West back with Kelby Stuckey, 57 to 37. The lead for Missouri State over Bradley. We'll have the Lady Bears against Bradley next Saturday night at 7. Here locally on KOZL and on the Missouri State Television Network. Lady Bears win again. They sweep Illinois State in normal. The buzzer beater by Bryce Caleb this evening. Basket is in for Sean East. Sean East is a score. Score supreme. East able to find holes in the defense and use his nice left-hand touch to make baskets for this Bradley Braves team. Missouri State still shooting 65% for the game. A little bobble there, so no travel call. And it's Gage Prim now with 18. Such a tough matchup in the polls. Gage Prim can go left or right, finish with the left or right hand. Prim is now 8 of 8 from the field for his 18 points. Devin McAdoo now with 6. Missouri State shot 74% in the first half, 17 of 23, now 6 of 12 here in the second half. There's a kick. And we have to reset the 20. There you go, back to work. These two games here at home against Bradley tonight and tomorrow. The last two home games for Missouri State this season. Can you believe it? They will go to Southern Illinois next Wednesday and then to Evansville further down the line on the 26th and 27th before Arch Madness in St. Louis, March 4th through 7th. And who knows beyond that? Great mask toward the first five points of the game, but he still has not hit anything since. Now to the 10 minute mark to go. Ritter looks to Prim. Not this time. Nice block. Not to Tava Nyman for three. And we'll get a timeout for Dana Ford. Missouri State's lead at 59 to 44. So a 15 point lead for the Bears. Nine forty seven to go. And Bradley, after tomorrow afternoon's game has three remaining at home at the Garber Arena Wednesday night against Illinois State. And then Drake comes to Peoria on the 26th and 7th for the Braves' final three games.
Bears ball out of the timeout, 9.47 remaining. Across the Sharp. Four three. Three threes in the second half for DeMarcus Sharp. And such a weapon for Missouri State when you've got an unselfish point guard who knows how the game situation, rarely forces anything, but when his numbers call, able to deliver as consistently for the Columbus. There's a bit 11 threes in the game now, and they'll get the ball back. Missouri State's season high for threes is 13 against Little Rock. 11 in this game. They slip for Mosley in the recovery. They pull it out, and it's Mosley. Won't go. They stay with the Bears. Mosley kind of caught in a uh, a situation where the ball's moving freely and he's not looking for a shot. And uh, really not able to find his touch here. Now called by Brad Gaston up front. And it's on Rick Mast. Fourth Bradley team foul. <laughs> Travel on Prim. Back over to the Braves with Antonio Thomas back in. Tell me, do the Bears need a game like this where Isaiah Mosley has just four points and yet they've got a, a nice solid lead? I think that it, it doesn't hurt your team to build the confidence of your other guys. Not really any reflection on Isaiah. He's had a great season. I just think that it, it shows that it's a more of a team. It's not just one guy that's able to play. Jamonte Black hits five threes. Gates Prim on the inside with 18. Demarcus Sharp with three threes. And, and the ball has moved well from, from player to player. First side, second side, third side basketball. They've done a great job of playing inside out and hitting cutters. So I don't think it does anything. When the, when the time, when he's needed, uh, you can expect Isaiah will be there for it. A break with 7.55 left. Whoa, Susan. Oh. I'm looking for coupon codes. Well, Capital One Shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them. Save me some cheddar. Capital One Shopping. It's kind of genius. What's in your wallet? All Ivy, player of the year, first round draft pick. No matter my achievement, I question if I deserve it. It's a battle with an invisible opponent, imposter syndrome. But I found a way to conquer it. I watch film, not of my mistakes, but of what I'm doing right. Each clip reminding me that there's no imposter here. Train what's under the armor. Everybody has a place to go. Everybody wants a place to be. When birds fly, they're swimming in the sky, while fish are swimming in the sea. How hard is it to catch a crispy, flaky fish? Depends on how patient you are and what pocket you keep $6 in. Arby's fish sandwiches are now two for $6 and part of Arby's everyday value. Arby's, we have the meat. Yeah. They be asking who am I? 
is real. We live it. He's trying to get the guys ready for a basketball game. But more than anything, he's trying to get them ready for life. <laughs> The Valley runs deep. Bears basketball on the Missouri State Television Network is brought to you by Great Southern Bank, Mercy, and by Price Cutter. Seven fifty-five left here at JQH. Missouri State leading sixty-two forty-four over Bradley. A little more on the Lady Bears comeback win. Today at Illinois State, a 16-point comeback victory for the Lady Bears. Second time they've done that this year. They did it against Maryland, a nationally ranked team, early in the year. Now they do it, do it to, today at Illinois State. Lady Bears and Bradley next Saturday night at 7 here on KOZL locally in the Missouri State Television Network. And it's Kavanaugh again for the Braves. Team high 13 points. More news from the Valley this week that Valparaiso uh, does not want to be called what they have been called for many years now. Their mascot is out. For now it's just uh, the Valparaiso basketball team, if you will. There you see Hannah. Irby guarding around and he flips it in. Ten in the second half now for Hannah. He a talented, talented player. A young fellow. Getting some run out here today with the uh, veterans. Doing a great job of bouncing back out here. I'm sure what was for him a disappointing first half. Javante Black. Three pointer number six and 21 points. Well, if you keep leaving him, he's just going to keep shooting. I can guarantee you that. Bears have hit 12 in the game now, only one away from their season high. That will go to Missouri State with 556 left. And news from the Missouri State campus area here, if you will. Remember Kabir Muhammad, who played the last two years here at Missouri State at a big senior night last year? His brother, Aminu Muhammad, today becomes Springfield's all-time career-leading scorer for Greenwood Lab School right here on the Missouri State campus. He beat a record that was held by Mahdi Johal, a Glendale High School graduate who went to Tennessee State, where Dana Ford used to coach. Gage Prim now with 20 points. Aminu scoring 31 points today against Summit Christian from Lee Summit at a shootout up in Bolivar, Missouri today. Take it away by Isaiah Mosley. Nice pass. Prim and all kinds of traffic in there. Aminu Muhammad committed to Georgetown University out of Greenwood. Foul call on Sean East. And he's over 2,600 career points now for the Greenwood Blue Jays. And he did it in less than three seasons. Did not play his freshman year here at Greenwood. Phenomenal accomplishment. In any service. Now under five to play. They play for Patrick Ewing at Georgetown. Did you ever run across Patrick Ewing? Uh, not as a player, no. 
I saw him at a couple camps before, but uh, I was running across him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean as a player necessarily. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've seen him before. He's a oh, big fellow, is no joke. Redder, 13 3 for the Bears to tie the season high. Split among three players, Black with six, Ritter with four, Sharp with three. Nice fade. And he leads it a little bit south of the basket there. Now to Ritter. This one won't go for him. Gets up for the board. Three thirty-five left. Four sets holding at the table. Three for Missouri State. And this shorthanded Bradley team, there's nothing they can do. And there is three-pointer number seven to tie the career high for Jamonte. Jamonte has really saved. They sparked this Missouri State team this afternoon with his shooting, clutch shooting, in difficult moments as well as in gratuitous moments for Missouri State. Bears ball now, five subs for the Bears headed in and three for the Braves. So a line change as we get our final uh, a timeout here with 3.01 to go. 73 to 48, Missouri State on its way to its ninth Valley win. We need USAA insurance for this season. When being a fan on a budget gets tough, our agents do the legwork so saving on auto insurance is easy. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. USAA! These are the people who make Gentleman Jack cultured, refined. Just kidding. They're the same folks who make old number seven. They simply take the time to melt with twice. Gentleman Jack, from the makers of Jack Daniels. Hello. Hey, Dad. Bobby's wondering if you could watch cartoons with him. Yeah, that sounds nice. I hope we can soon. Dad, check your email. <laughs> okay, click. Hi, Grandpa! What is this? It's Sling Watch Party. You can invite people to watch live TV with you. Wow. Hey, family. Oh, God! How'd you get in there, Todd? Sling Watch Party is live TV together from anywhere, only from Sling. Get the best of cable for the best price. This is star power from the jump. <laughs> this is the best of the How good is this game? <laughs> This kid is getting better every time he steps in the octagon. The Black Beast does it again! Watch Derek Lewis, your heavyweight knockout king. Missouri State leads 73-48 over Bradley. Tonight's player of the game is presented by Mercy, the official medical and sports medicine provider for the Missouri State Bears. And what a game for Jamonte Black as he scores 24 points so far with only two short of his career high of 26. Seven threes to tie his career best and a huge game shooting eight out of ten from the field for Black. Outstanding game for Jamonte Black. Catching the ball and shooting as well as distributing. And the thing most impressive, no four shots. Playing within the structure of his team uh, and able to deliver when called upon almost each and every time. That's impressive. So the Bears brought in five new players. It'll be Lakai Patterson with the ball, and now it's Rafe Ayers, a freshman from Arlington, Virginia. Elijah Bridgers from right here in Springfield and Kickapoo High School. And Nick Tata back in. He played a minute or two in the first half. Gets the foul here. And Melvin Ebunkley 
Six, seven freshman from France. Foul will go to Ivanka Lee. Jason Kent. Put them in with one to go here for Kent, the freshman. Teams play again Sunday afternoon at 3. Broadcast on ESPN Plus. Not clear of midcourt for Patterson. And it spins out. Follow won't go. And we'll go the other way. Monkley gets a second foul. Not only all this basketball going on, Kelby, but there is a football game on the schedule for Missouri State next Saturday. Which makes me even more confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. One o'clock starts. And if all this snow comes, I wouldn't want to be uh, the decision maker. Will this, will this count on next season's? No, this is the, this is the fall of 20. Oh, okay. Delayed season by the Missouri Valley Football Conference. First two for Connor Linky. Great to see Elijah Bridgers out there. Local player. Over the top and Bridgers with a miss. And it's tied up. And yes, it will be a held ball call. Hopefully a bit of a bull in the china shop inside for the Bears. Finding Tata. And put back, no, for Bonkley. Tata, no. Another chance that's blocked. And the Bears still with the ball. Ray Bears battles for it. And Bridgers with a chance for three. for Bridgers. He has scored now seven and make it eight points in his freshman campaign, playing in his third game. The other two being Missouri S&T and William Jewell, so a Division I opponent for Bridgers for the first time. No look to Ebunkley, and that's goaltending. Count it for Ebunkley. And Ebunkley with his first Bears points, even though it didn't go through the basket. Still count it. It counts. <laughs> Pass is hauled in, and it spins out for Thomas. Under a minute, Missouri State will improve to 13 and five, and nine and five in conference play. 
Put it around and count this one with Jason Kent. Hard to like about this young guy, Jason Kent. Didn't have the best game today, but at six foot seven, a freshman with a decent stroke, he's basically needing to learn how to play the game. And once he learns how to play, I think he's going to have a pretty good player. It's Ebunkley again. Bradley will fall to 11 and 12 and 5 and 9. Two teams match up Sunday afternoon at 3. Three is good for Thomas Hall, a walk on, getting in late in this game, but that's going to be it. Missouri State wins it 80 to 58 over a Bradley team missing four key players in its lineup as the Bears get their ninth win in Missouri Valley Conference play. And still in the top half of the conference standings. Bradley falls to five and nine, and we will have our post game when we come back to JQH Arena in a moment. The financial report is due Monday. So we need to speed up the process and get those numbers in. Renovate or relocate? Relocate. The perfect home needs the perfect mortgage. It's perfect. Regions Digital Lending Experience is safe and simple. So you can brave a new beginning. Bobby's two for six bucks every day. The biggest fish sandwich of your life. Twice. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Reese's eggs are back and we hit them somewhere you'll never find. Psych! We put them everywhere. Grocery stores and supermarkets, gas stations and chiropractor's offices, bowling alleys and grocery stores, which we already mentioned. Not sorry, Reese's. This is star power from the jump. This is the best of the pop covers this game. Roads. Yeah, they're all getting. Network is brought to you by Bud Light, your Chevy dealers of the Ozarks, and by Shelter Insurance. Missouri State wins over Bradley 80 to 58 as the Bears improved to 9 and 5 in the va Valley. Bradley now 5 and 9. And Kelby, just too many weapons from this uh, Missouri State team against a Bradley outfit that was uh, so beaten down by the players that weren't able to uh, play today or tomorrow because of the violations of program standards and, and Bradley just didn't have enough weapons today. Well, they're playing with a bunch of young guys that are kind of getting their first shot at the, the uh, what is the uh, Missouri Valley fight uh, in January against teams that typically know each other. 
a lot on the line during this time. So uh, uh, not a bad showing by the freshmen. At least five to six freshmen appeared for Bradley. Uh, they got off to a pretty good start, but eventually the experience of Missouri State took control of the game. But I thought the effort from the freshmen was there for Bradley. And they're going to be, they've got some guys we're going to hear from in the future. V.L.A. Tavaninen leads with 13 points for Bradley. The Bears led by Jamonte Black with 24 points. The Bears hit 14 threes today, a season high in 23 attempts and shot 57% for the game. And Missouri State now 9-0 and this year when they shoot over 50%. These teams match up Sunday afternoon at 3 here at JQH. It'll be the final home game. For the Bears this season, we invite you out to see it. It will be on ESPN Plus if you're not able to make it. This copyrighted telecast is the property of Missouri State Sports Properties, LLC, under rights granted by Missouri State University. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, reproduction, or other dissemination or use of this telecast or any part of it without express written consent of Missouri State Sports Properties, LLC, is prohibited. For Kelby Stuckey, I'm Don West. We thank you so much for joining us as Missouri State wins 80-58 to over Bradley. We'll have the Lady Bears next Saturday night at 7 o'clock against the Bradley Braves. I'm Don West. Stay safe in the snow this weekend.